Hello and welcome to another mini moto vlog and today I'm going to be discussing rest brakes when long distance riding. Now I ride a Kawasaki Ninja which is obviously not the ideal bike for long distance riding but there are several other models out there like the Honda Goldwing or Cruisers which are far more suited to long distance riding because they've got better riding positions and more comfortable seats. But regardless of what bike you do end up choosing or riding, eventually every seat does become uncomfortable. I could be sat in my front room on the couch for a few hours and eventually that couch is going to be uncomfortable and you're going to want to get up and move around a bit. So uh, I've come up with a little routine that works for me. It might be different for you and I'd be interested to know what your routines are. But uh, when I'm long distance riding, I like to have a break every 100 miles to refuel because uh, after 100 miles I'm looking at putting on the reserve tank and then eventually running out of fuel. So 100 miles is a good set point to take a small mini break and that'll be between 10 and 15 minutes. So I'll be refueling, I'll walk around, I'll pay for my fuel, maybe have a quick drink and then I'll get back on the bike. But it's on the second 100 miles where I take my longer break. Now that could be something to eat, something to drink, taking off my waterproofs and getting a bit of uh, air around my clothes and uh, I found that routine works pretty well and then I'll go on to another 100 miles have another mini break and then on another 200 miles I'll take another extended break so that's the kind of way I work it now that doesn't work every time flawlessly because you could be stuck in traffic you could be sat in traffic for two or three hours and only cover 10 miles so you're going to want to stop much sooner but uh, it all depends on your circumstances the roads you're riding uh, whether the roads are really shaking you about and you're off the beaten track a bit so um it's kind of all dependent on your circumstances and how comfortable you feel in yourself but for me i find a good guide is 100 miles for a mini break 200 miles for an extended break then another 100 miles for a mini break and then another 200 miles for another extended break and that routine just works for me but uh, like i said if you are stuck in traffic for a long time then you're going to reduce those mileages quite considerably so it really does depend on your circumstances uh, the road you're riding the seat you sat on and the general comfort that you're in while you're riding so that's what works for me i'd love to hear what works for you because uh, as a motorcyclist i'm always learning new things and you never know yours might be better than mine so please let me know and uh, i'll see you in the next vlog thanks for watching